Yo guys, Nax here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cute style anime header. Um, I hope you will enjoy the video. If it is helpful for you, then don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, now let's get into it. Alright guys, so uh, first thing, we are going to have to drop our render to the header. And the resolution, by the way, is uh, 3000 by 1000. Uh, so yeah, all right, so after we have uh, dropped our render, uh, we are going to change the background. So just left click two times and go gra gradient overlay and make a gradient like that, like the white color and and like, like that to just fit the colors of the renders. And next thing, we are all, of course, uh, going to make a text. So get a Rowlet uh, font. I will leave a link in the description, uh, of course. And just make it bigger, of course. And just type name. I will type name cute, because it's like the cute style uh, of the header. Like that. Maybe we can place it here, right? I think it's cool. And we are going to change colors now. So I will, uh, maybe we will go with the same gradient, but maybe 90. Oh no, this one is cool. Uh, and all right, it's good. Uh, and we can also add a stroke. Stroke needs to fit the colors of uh, of the render. Right, I think um, before we add stroke, we can add some nice shape to to the text. So just make a new layer, create clipping mask, and just make a basic shape like that. And choose nice color. All right, this one is nice. Right, convert to smart object, and now we can uh, make a stroke. But first stroke, I am going to make it uh, white, or maybe like reddish, like like that, or maybe white. Yeah, right. Now it's good, mm. and then we have to convert to smart object. And now we are going to make uh, now we are going to make another stroke, but with like darker colors, like that. Maybe a bit brighter. Right, it's nice. And now convert to smart object. And now we are going to make another copy and make it like, put it like, um, like here, I think. Yeah, it's good. And we are going to change the color to, to like reddish, like, like that. Oh, I think, I think it's nice. Um, and we can uh, add a stroke to this um, 3D part also. Make it like that. All right, it's nice. Mm -hmm. And after that, we are just going to play with uh, the background. So uh, I will use my lunar pack, which you can buy in the description for this uh, for this header, and just get a nice nice brush and put it in some places we can also change the color maybe all right this one is nice and we can just put it in some places here also and now we can um, 
maybe change the color of this brush to white to not make the same color for every every single one uh, maybe get maybe convert it to smart object and make it uh, soft light to blend it with the background nice and do the same thing with the another part like here here and here you just need to fill the background because if you're if if the background is like there's nothing on the background then like header doesn't have sense to me so you you have to be sure that you mm, get your uh, background done maybe go with the gradient now and make it like reddish like that all right nice and after that uh, we go to we go to shapes and we have to get uh, some nice shapes like that like it kind of looks like a heart so we can add it just add it to the background like that um, change the color to like reddish like that or maybe we are going to make it like more dark like that and now just less the opacity or make it like in blending both different Alright, like that, and make it another part of the of the header also. Alright, and also we can add it here. Alright, it's nice. Uh, and now we have to mm, get a, a heart shape because it's like the cute style we have to add some hearts of course it's obvious um, and just make some nice colors with it go with 90 maybe maybe make the white color pop out more so make it like like that and then you can add this a stroke like that maybe we can add more white to it all right it's nice and we can just put these hearts in some places on the header like here maybe here also next to the text here and we can add one in the background maybe here and also um, we can change the color of it and make it like more dark like that and put it here transform horizontal and just uh, make it convert to smart object and make it uh, more like blend with the header so like that I think it's nice also you can add it in some more places to just make it like to just fill the background you know like that Alright, <clears throat> and now we can just add some more shapes because uh, this type of header is really good when it has a lot of shapes. So like that. Maybe we can change the color. 
of it to like great through gradient like that and just put it in some places you can make it also uh, overlay or soft light it's really cool with that all right and I think we can just add some nice brushes now. Uh, so go to brushes and just get a nice one. Maybe we can go with... Oh, this one is cool, but I think we can go with... Mm, with this one. All right. And just put it in some places to make it look good like that here is nice here also and maybe we can put it like here and just erase it a bit Just like that. All right, all right. And to feel the background more, and more, uh, we can just put some nice flowers to it. Um, I grabbed one from my pack and I just changed the color. Uh, so just put it in some places like that. Maybe here also. Here. Here, make it bigger and put it here to just nicely fit the banner. Also here, make it smaller. Get it here. Okay, and next thing we are going to do is we are going to add some Japanese letters to the header. So get some Tekana LDR font, I will leave a link in the description. And just make some words with it. Like that, we can put it here, and get a nice gradient as we use for the text. Add a stroke also. Convert it to smart object, copy it, and put it in some different places also. So maybe here. Alright, it's nice. And after that, um, we can maybe add some more brushes to the background because it still feels kind of empty um, so um, go to brushes and get a nice brush All right so this one and just make next brush like that we can put it here it's nice maybe we can make a color a bit um, darker just like that we can put it higher like here all right it's nice we can also put it here erase it a bit and maybe we can put it also mm, next to the render, like here. But if we put it here, we have to use Gaussian Blur, of course. So just like that. Maybe also here. And here. And now we have to add some mm, blurs to the background. Mm, so we just uh, get some uh, shapes from the background and make it like Gaussian Blur. Like 55 is cool, I think. Alright, it's nice. 
here we can make it like three. We can also raise this shape a bit because it kind of mm, blends with other stacks. Alright, it's nice. And we have to get mm, our uh, like flowers and um, blur it also. Alright, um, so we just get our flowers and then we go to filter, blur and motion blur. So it looks like they are flying. Make it like 25. Alright, it's nice. And now we can also uh, blur um, the render a bit. So get the render, go to Blur Gallery and Iris Blur. And just blend it to like... Um, just blur it to make it like blend with the rest of the hair. Like that, it's nice. Alright, and I think we are done with the header. <clears throat> it was a quick tutorial how to make it. If you want to practice with it, I will leave a link in the description. And uh, also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, and yeah, just see you in the next video.